Mental Fox here with more Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again. We're outside of Valley Galleria. The reason we're here is, uh, well, we're doing something for our new friend, Sophia. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It just tells us that we're helping a friend stay at our camp. Uh, as soon as we sync with the server, it's going to tell me exactly what I'm looking for up here. It takes a moment, but uh, did you see that it says retrieve the dot, dot, dot? <laughs> So, uh, we haven't quite talked to the server yet. Uh, in the meantime, take a drink of water, look through our food and see if there's something that we could eat. Look for some uh, delicious food here. Glowing fungus soup, we'll have a little bit of that. That'll take care of food and thirst. And uh, we'll have a little bit of iguana bits here before they go completely bad. Iguana on a stick, maybe. And um, maybe some Mutant Town Chops. There we go. Now we've got a full belly. And uh, we're not thirsty. So there we go. There we go. So it finally updated up there. You can see we're supposed to retrieve the USSA beacon. Uh, there's this beacon that, um, according to Sophia, should not be broadcasting any longer. Um, but it is broadcasting. So that's suspicious in its own right. I thought I saw something over here, which is why I'm walking over here. Uh, Valley Galleria is a place we spent quite a bit of time in, in uh, my main playthrough. And I'm quite curious to see uh, what it looks like now and um, to see if I notice a difference. Um, and if I do notice a difference, what the difference is. I'm kind of curious about it. I heard somebody walking over here, yep. Got a Scorchy over here. That's kind of neat. You can see some mannequins up there. I mean, at least mannequins make sense here because they sell clothes here in this place. Now, um, pretty sure that when I visited here before, it was before I had the marsupial mutation, so I don't know whether there'll be some neat places I could jump. Uh, where did he get to before? What made me think of it is up there. Can't quite jump that high, so I can't get up there to see if there's anything interesting about it. But, um... It did make me think about reaching places I wasn't able to reach before. But we're gonna go on in here. <laughs> you see these gnomes over here? Enjoying a drink in this baby carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys, man. It's great. He's carrying some vodka. This guy's carrying some whiskey. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we're going to go into the Valley Galleria here. Retrieve this beacon. Uh, let's see, what was in here before? Was it scorched? Ghouls? All of the above? I don't remember for sure. But I do remember that uh, we will not be alone in here. Well, there's some music playing. I'm not sure how I feel about that. This music playing. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. Menu music. World radios are turned all the way down. So it's not coming from a radio. Okay, so this beacon is hmm, in that direction. That's odd figure out how to get over there. It is dark in here. And I'm not going to turn my light on because I really don't want to be seen. So we're going to try to walk through the dark here. Yeah, we need to go down through here, back this way. So whatever we're looking for is not near the entrance we came in, but that's all right. We'll be okay. Us. This looks like an exit here. That'll take us back out to Appalachia. So how do I get to where this beacon is? I mean, it made it seem like the beacon was inside this building, but now it's acting like it's not inside the building. I'm pretty sure... Well, I mean, I... I'm pretty sure there's a way to get to the second floor. 
Imagine your new life. Don't miss out on an opportunity of a lifetime. Okay. Giddy up, Buttercup. Captain Cosmos. So, are there stairs in here that will take us up to the next floor? There are. Hmm, I'm really starting to wonder where the heck this um, thing is going to be. in that direction this okay okay here we go we're good god I love it when they break into a big gloppy mess it's the best okay there's a big chest in here uh, some Salisbury steak and here is the beacon that we've come to get Okay, we've got the beacon. Bring the beacon back to Commander Daguerre. Yeah, okay, we can do that. We can do that. No problem at all. As a matter of fact, can I fast travel from here back to my camp? Sure does look like I can. I see no reason why I wouldn't. We've already made that trek once. I don't feel like we need to make it again. So we'll just fast travel on back here to my camp. And uh, we will bring uh, Sophia the beacon. And I think the plan is to see who shows up. I believe that's the plan. This is obviously somebody was maintaining that beacon. Okay. All right. Here's your beacon. I was wondering if you were coming back. Of course I'm coming back. I live here. I suspect the owner of this beacon will come and find us. I know I would. But until then, well, I have something here that we should look into. I noticed a strange signal that was heading right for us. us it seems uh, like after the signal approached this place, it just spun around and took off. It was strange. Sudden. Think you could just sneak over there and poke your head in? If they seem... Problematic. Maybe stop them somehow? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see here, here. Um, what's this signal doing right now? I, I can't tell what it's doing there exactly, but it's moving around, so I think it's alive? Or I guess it could be a robot. Okay, could be a robot. Do you think it's hostile? I noticed another USSA signal approach it a bit ago, and then they both disappeared completely for a moment, and only this one reappeared. I'm not sure what that means, but there are only a few reasons why a signal disappears. Death is one of them. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess if it's a threat, I'm going to take care of it. Okay, just be careful. I wish I could tell what it is. It just seems so... unnatural. But, what does that mean in a world like this? Well, these are good questions. I don't know. Listen. This could be a trap. Or it could be just a big misunderstanding. I can't really say for sure. Just be careful. Oh, she cares about us. She wants us to be careful. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, hmm. So, um, why would USSA robots want to harm you? I'm not sure they do. We had one of those on the ship, and it landed with me. But it wasn't aggressive. I, I don't know. But they really aren't taking a direct line to attack me, either. Maybe they're damaged or have been corrupted somehow. Hmm. Okay. Um, what was it like to float in space? It felt like nothing else. I, I remember spinning in space, eyes fixed on Earth. Unable to look away. So far away. So perfect. Okay. Um, maybe you should get out of here and get some fresh air? I, I did! Last time you were gone, I went on a short stroll. Didn't go far. But, 
I saw some weird stuff. Just... bizarre. Saw a giant, huge, <laughs> greenish uh, man with a two-headed cow. <laughs> he was selling things. Super nice fellow. He said he would stop by later. Said he hopes to check on me when he can. <laughs> I can't wait. It's such a shock, but also amazing. Well, she's obviously talking about Graham, but I don't remember Graham being on this side of the map. He was on a different side of the map. But, you know, maybe he's branching out. Affirmative. Out. She's lucky she ran into the one friendly super mutant on, in the whole wasteland here. Okay, so now we need to investigate some signal and eliminate potential threats. That is what we need to do. And uh, it is called The Universe Conspires. That is what's up now. Oh, game, what's up with that? Um, yeah. The Universe Conspires. Unfortunately, these this doesn't have any text for us here. It always just says, I'm helping a friend staying at my camp. Investigate the signal and eliminate potential threats. We show it on the map, and it is up here by Dire Chemical. We are way down here. Dire Chemical's way up here. So, um... I mean, I could just make this walk from here up to here. We've been doing that. It's no big deal. It's not that far. So, uh, let's go for a bit of a walk. Um, although I will say that I keep thinking more and more. My crew is out there. I hope they found someone decent to take them in. I keep thinking more and more that um, I know this is dumb and really serves no purpose, but I keep thinking more and more that she should have her own room here. You know, I mean, she's living here now, but where's she sleeping? You know. Um, so I was thinking of <laughs> actually taking the time to um, make a room for her. And um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, like I said, I know it's kind of silly, but um, I don't know. It gives me a, an excuse to modify my camp a little bit. And uh, building, the, building, doing camp building, I think, is a little bit of fun. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two bedrooms here instead of just one. And uh, I don't think it'll be too difficult to nightmares. do. Floating in space forever. Just fly. Okay, so I'm going to switch to modify, and I'm going to move some of this stuff out of this room here so I can make room for her. I'm going to move this out here for now. We'll just set it in the middle of the floor. And I'm going to move this out of here for now. I'm just going to set it in the middle of the floor also. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to take my bed and turn it. So I'm going to pick it up and spin it this way. Okay, so there's... There's my bed. I'm going to take this and spin it and hopefully set it over there next to the bed. That's what I want to do. Just uh, plop it down over there. Uh, let's see. There we go. It's on the ground now. Place it there. Let's move it back a little bit. Kind of set it against the wall in the corner. Okay. Oops, oh darn it, I turned it a little bit. Shoot. Alright, and then the bed can move a little bit further this way. Whoa, bed. Ooh, bed. Okay, good. There we go. Now, so this is going to be uh, my, my room here. I'm going to put a wall here. So, um, I need to switch to build. And I need to go to walls. And I'm going to put a wall here, just like that. Build. Okay, I've put a wall there. But now I need to place a... Um, I just can't shake these nightmares. Yeah, I need to place... Loading in space forever. A door so this I can get into my room. Why? So I need to take this... I need to move this stuff around. Let's plop that up there. I need to move... Nah. Yeah, let's move this here and then this here I'm going to store it store 
because what I want to do is put a wall with a door in it there. So we're going to switch back to build and I'm going to go to walls. Here we go. Here's a wall with a door in it. Do they have a floor? No, that's it. There we go. Put this wall here. I'm going to build it. Okay. Now I want a door. Okay. That's like, that's like an outside door. Oh gosh, are these all my door choices? Here we go. We got that door, this door here, a blue door, a green door, a red door. Let's have a matching red door. And uh, we'll have the door that way. Now it makes more sense this way. Okay. Okay, so there. This is my room. There, it's just got a bed in it. There's nothing fancy about it. I don't need a lot of space. It's good, but you know, we got some nice windows here. Okay, and now this is her room, and her room's just going to basically be the same as our room. So I'm going to uh, bring up my build here. We're going to place a bed in it. Um, let's see, beds. There's a whole bed category, and we're going to give her this uh, sleeping bag. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you get a sleeping bag and you'll like it. I just can't shake these nightmares. Hmm. Floating in space forever. Just why? So that bed I built, oh, there it is, okay. Ooh, it's kind of a big bed, but I wonder if she'd like this thing. Oh, this is a big bed, huh? Let's see. The problem with this bed is that it covers up the window a little bit, but I don't know. I, I, I will say that what I like about this bed is that it actually has some sheets on it, you know? This one is just a freaking mattress. Here's your mattress. And then our other choices are this crappy bed. This thing looks like a hospital bed. These are all locked anyway, so... Uh, we'll give her a nice bed with nice sheets on it as well. It's only fair, right? Now if I could straighten this out here... We'll go ahead and plop this down. Okay, and now... What I want is, um... Is there an end table section? A table section, maybe? Um... Hmm, let's see here. Chairs. I thought there was... Isn't there a table section? Tables. Okay, tables. And, um... You know, we've got this fancy-ass furniture here. Yeah, we could plop this down next to the bed, maybe. Okay, let's turn it. Yeah. Okay, plop that down. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then we could put a little light on it. So she has a nice little light for her room, too. Never had headaches like this before. Lights, okay. Now I have some lights that don't require any power, like this one right here. So, um, candles. Those things. Give her a little, little oil lamp here. That's got some nice lighting there, right? Okay. So Hopefully there we go. The of that beacon will show up soon. Yeah. Maybe they have some information on my crew. Maybe they do. I don't know. You know? Maybe they do. So there's my room and her room, and uh, you know she's got a nice view of the front here, and I've got a nice view of the back, and. Um, you know, we got our own space, so now she has her own place to stay. Um, yeah, but I still have, I have some furniture that I don't know what to do with. So, switch to modify, move this. What the hell? Cancel. What the, that was weird. Move this. Okay. Do I have room for this in here? Okay, we could plop that down there. Just a little bookshelf to put some stuff on, maybe. Okay. And then this, this big monstrous thing. Why did I, why did I buy this? We'll plop this down over here. Oh, this thing's huge. And kind of gross looking. Kind of hate it. Plop that down. 
Okay. Not even enough room to open the drawers there. But, um, what are you gonna do? Okay. Now. I've had headaches like this before. Now I need a place for my tinkers. This is a mobile campsite then. Uh huh. Hmm. Fascinating. Need a place for my tinker's workbench here. And, um... I hate to put it in front of a window, but I think I'm gonna have to. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She's gonna use the tinker's workbench right when I want to move it? <laughs> Cracking me up, game. Cracking me up. Yep, she's, she's definitely using the tinker's workbench. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be a jerk and move it. Okay, she's done with it. Okay, modify... Move. And we're gonna put this down right here. There we go, man. Alright. And I'm okay with where I moved this other stuff. I'm okay with that being up there. I'm okay with that being up there. And, um, yeah. I don't know why oh, I never put a door here. I've gotta admit, I was kind of hoping you'd find my Unstoppables collection in, in that crate. Yeah, I understand. Oh. It's okay. Okay, so there you go. Totally unnecessary. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of, like I said, I, I I wanted to give her a place to stay, and it gave me an excuse to do a little bit of remodeling. Uh, so there you go. Now she has a place to rest, and uh, I have a place to rest. And I'm going to shut my door so she stays out of my room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. We are going to head over here I just to. Can't shake these nightmares. Um. Floating in space forever. Just. To this other fly. place, which is. Down that direction. So. Thinking we could stay on this side. Of the. Uh, of this mountain range here. And uh, we'll just go for a walk, and we'll see what we see, like we've been doing. Uh, so far, uh, we haven't been disappointed. We've uh, we've found something interesting, I think, pretty much every time we've gone for a walk. I'm not great. Hmm, what am I carrying that I don't need? I'm carrying a lot of we a lot of weight, but I don't feel like dealing with that. So we are going to go for a walk here. glowing down there. What's this place? What am I looking at? That's not Mothholm. What is this right here? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Stupid mole rats. I mean... I don't think this is somebody's camp, is it? Oh, it's a hostile turret. How come it's not shooting me? But it so seems... Hey, what's up, turret? Okay. Tinker's workbench here. Ain't that weird? Showing up as hostile. Doggone it, is my weapon... about ready to be broken? That happened so freaking fast. Weapons. Be damned. Okay, let me run back to my camp real quick. Gee whiz. Didn't I just fix this thing? I do use it a lot, though, so... Guess I shouldn't be surprised, but holy mackerel, man. Gee whiz. I wish I would have noticed that before I left. But uh, this might be interesting. I don't, I don't know if I've ever walked towards my camp from this direction before. So it'll be really interesting to see what it looks like. It's pretty cool looking, huh? I think it's a cool camp. I like my camp a lot. I think it's very cool. I don't like how it just kind of hangs off space there, but oh well. What are you going to do? Yeah, I got to go around. Okay. Back in. Back upstairs. Weapons. Modify repair. Uh, repair this thing. Okay. Alright. 
it's all, everything's fine now. Everything's just perfectly fine, peachy keen. Let us uh, start this trek again. It's no big deal. Um, so the little house that we were just at, I, I kind of remember it from before, now that I think about it. I don't remember when I visited it, but I, I just kind of remember it. Just this place sitting out here. This thing over here. I mean, it's not... The moth place. The, the moth hole. Right? Is that what that place is called over here? Yeah, oh, moth home. <laughs> moth hole. It's not there. That, so... I don't know what this is supposed to be. I had noticed that this was a truck parked here. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, somebody has a little place set up here. Kind of nice. I don't know. They got a nice view too. I wish I could climb those things. They look like fun. It is a dead mole rat, isn't it? Hmm. I'm surprised I could loot. Is that one of the mole rats that I killed and it just like rolled all the way over here? I don't know. Man, you never know what you're going to see out here. Especially at night. It's so foggy like this. You could see anything, man. I like the uh, well, the sounds of my f foot footsteps. Sounds like I'm walking on marshy land. I dig it. So we're gonna walk by Berkeley's Berkeley. Um, what's it called? This town up here. Man, my brain is not working. Harper's Ferry. No, this isn't Berkeley. Berkeley Springs is up here. Okay. Little couple of uh, buses here. This is a place I also remember visiting before. Armor workbench here. Ooh, what are these? Toxic soot flower. I don't know if I ever realized toxic soot flower glowed in the dark like that. That was pretty cool looking, wasn't it? I thought it was. That was weird. Did you see that? I'm not sure what that was. A lot of footwork for Sophia. Is she not capable of walking around herself? Is somebody standing there? Blood Eagle Tormentor. <laughs> Stupid jerk. What are you doing over there, Blood Eagle? Another one over there. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna run on past you because you're a bunch of jerks. Little camp set up here. I mean, I don't know. Not really where I would choose to camp. Right next to the road there. What's going on here? Oh, what? 
cultist chosen. I think this is pretty high level. Oh, I need that man stuff. Cultist awoken. Huh. Whoa, that was freaky, wasn't it? Because I was getting ready to say those look like candles, and then all of a sudden those three people stood up. That was creepy, man. <laughs> Gosh. So, cultists are not friendly. They're just not. I mean, as soon as they see me, they start shooting. They're not friendly, man. They didn't... I mean, how are they supposed to grow their cult if they just shoot everybody they see? That's no way to gr gr grow a cult. Oh, gross. What the hell's going on here? A hell? Heads on a plate with, like, intestines and a fist? The hell, people? People are gross. Nasty-ass cult. I don't want to join your cult. I'm not into that. That's gross. Um, trying to think. This is um, Treehouse Village, a place we visited in my previous playthrough. Plane hanging there. This place is nasty. I don't like all this standing water. A lot of water here. Getting deeper. Oh. Yeah, I'm rescuing waterborne disease. I gotta get out of here. Get out of this water. Okay, we're close to our destination, which is um, Dire Chemical. I don't know if I remember Dire Chemical. I remember the name. Uh, do I remember exploring it before? I think I do, and I think I remember there being a lot of super mutants here. But now I'm seeing ghouls. Uh oh. Freaking sentry bot. Whoa. What's he shooting at? Whoa! I'd like to finish him off. Oh, crap. I wanted to finish him off before he saw me. Because they hit pretty hard. He's gonna, he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. Or not. I thought they blew up after you destroyed them. Oh, by golly, they do. Boy, that was just enough of a delay to make me think that uh, it was safe to walk over there. Now I got a freaking Mr. Gutsy on my tail. You know how hard these things hit. Pretty damn hard. Nice. Okay, we took care of him. Ooh, there's a Protectron shooting me over there. Investigate the signal and eliminate potential threats. That is what we're doing here. Did this uh, robot leave any goodies behind? Where's that sentry bot's body? Where is it? Ah. Is this it? No, this is a Mr. Gutsy. Colonel Gutsy. I don't know where the sentry bot went. Oh well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for it. Alright, whatever I'm looking for is in here. that. Good stuff in that first aid box, huh? Okay, so looking for something in this circle. Don't know exactly what it is. Looking for a signal. 
nothing on my radio. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to know what I'm looking for, to be quite honest with you. So I'm just going to walk around in this circle until something happens. Oh, here we go. Oh, hi. USSA Assaultron. Whoa, she's in... Whoa. That was easy. Now to retrieve something from it. Scrap Assaultron head nuclear waste. Wait a minute now. Oh, I guess I was supposed to get the head. Okay, I got the head. All right, let's return. Once again, we'll just go ahead and fast travel back there because there's no sense in retracing our steps. And plus, we saw our freaky encounter. Those cultists praying at those gross heads. So we don't need to uh, run back through there and see it again. Somebody's walking around. I don't know if that's Daguerre or somebody else. I wonder if the beacon... Oh, Dr. Emerson Hale. Who's this guy? He must have been the one who was... Um, had the beacon. Let's see if they talk to each other. No? Dr. Emerson Hale. What's okay. up, man? Good to see you again. Yeah, did you see this creepy guy standing here looking at you? <laughs> That's right, I called you creepy, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're creepy. Oh, can we not interact with her now? Wait a minute. Oh, they're just going to ignore each other. He's going to watch her walk past and he's going to be like, Oh, man, I didn't talk to her. Oh. Is, is this a friend of yours? No, who, it's not. Who are you? You seem so familiar. Well, you look exactly the same. I never believed. <laughs> I wondered who picked up my beacon. Well, I'll be damned. Emerson? Dr. Emerson Hale. Is that... Is that you? Welcome back to Earth. I guess. Welcome to Appalachia. I don't even know what to say. I never expected to see you here. My ship crashed a while ago, and I was fortunate to find someone who took me in. I'm trying to find my crew, but I've had some horrible headaches. So, you're staying at this uh, place? I guess you really decided to jump into modern Appalachian life, huh? Hmm. Um. <laughs> you can leave any time, pal. Or hey, come on, it's not much, but it's my home. Or I'm open. To, I'm open to decorating suggestions, friend. Yeah. You don't like the way I have it decorated, pal? This place is awesome. I didn't mean to be offensive. Your home is fine. I'm not creative in that way. I mean. I squat in an old military base right now. I hope your good Samaritan here has helped you out with more than just a place to, uh, crash. He has helped me out quite a lot already, actually. Brought back a USSA beacon, and also took care of some hostile robot. I see. Well, is there anything I can help with while I'm here? Supplies? Medicines? Questions, I guess. Hmm. So, um, was that your beacon? Sure is. For a while, I had hoped I could contact somebody else to monitor the deep sleep mission until uh, we could figure something out. Okay. Um, very convenient that you're here in Appalachia. I suspect her escape ship's autopilot. Sent the ship on a trajectory to any known USSA location using its uh, admittedly very old data. 
Okay. Can you help find the commander's crew? They weren't in the escape capsule, I take it? Well, that is unfortunate. They could have survived, though, right? Maybe. I've heard a couple scavengers say that parts of the ship have already been scrapped. Same goes for any other ship debris. Best to just move on. It's honestly shocking that you survived as it is. I'm serious. Hmm, huh, okay. So, um, why did her ship crash? My best guess, probably ran out of fuel and the autopilot guided it to the nearest USSA facility. Oh, what does it matter? She lived! What a miracle! This guy's suspicious. Do you think you could help with her headaches? We had some emergence kits uh, back in the day. They were specifically designed to help people emerge from deep sleep. I bet I could find some of those. Okay. Do you know anything about that hostile USSA robot? There's a bunch of them out there. Seems that their algorithms got scrambled or something. Who can say? They used to come after me. But it seems like they have a higher priority target now. Gee, I wonder who Expand that is. Expand your scanner to look for signatures at a constant speed. That should pick them up. They aren't that complicated. Thankfully, my friend here is quite capable of destroying these things. Shouldn't be a problem for us. That's good. I'm glad you're making friends already. I am too. So much has changed. I mean, you know better than most. Care to catch me up to speed? Ha! Uh, that will be quite the chat. You've missed a lot. And I still don't really get what happened either. But that's a talk for another time, perhaps. Anyway, look, I need to go. I'll be back another time and we can chat some more. Okay? Okay, Emerson. Dear Emerson, my friend and I have a signal to track down. Looks like it might be some ship debris. So come back later, if you want to know what we found. Mm -hmm. Bye now. So... We'll speak again soon. This is the, sure. the Emerson that she mentioned earlier, right? Um, when we asked her if she was familiar with the area, she said that she used to go camping here with, her, with Emerson, I thought. And it sounded like they were going to have a relationship, but they didn't, or... I'll try not to get in your way. You're not in my way. Um, so, we still need to finish up this here, return to her. So that was interesting, huh? That, there was something suspicious about that guy, though, I felt like. Um, I guess, I don't know where he went. I think he's hanging out downstairs. No? Well, there's somebody down here. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just my turret I'm seeing. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure that she said Emerson was the guy that she used to hang out with. It was an Assaultron, huh? Probably one of the old USSA robots. Strange. I would have figured they would all be in standby mode now. But... I need to know for sure. I found some wreckage from the rest of the ship that has one of their suit beacons. Maybe all of them are there. Can you go and see what's there? It might just be empty wreckage, but I need to know. That's understandable. Um, so is this signal from the flight recorder data? Yes. I believe the other crew members were in a separate part of the ship. The signal moved a bit. Could be survivors, could be scavengers. Okay. Uh, maybe someone found them and they're safe somewhere. What are the chances they also ran into a benevolent Appalachian survivor who invited them to live in a charming wilderness abode? It is pretty charming, isn't it? Alright, I'll go search the wreckage for signs of your crew. If you do find them, then we'll have to make room for them here, right? <laughs> uh, bunk beds, maybe? There would be three others, you know. It's possible that you won't find anything there. It might just be rubble, or maybe it's been scavenged by animals. It's hard to know. 
In the meantime, I picked up an issue of the Unstoppables from a visiting trader the other day. Eh, maybe it'll help me relax. Okay, well I hope it does, and your friends are welcome to stay here. Um, so, um, did you see the Earth before you went into deep sleep? For an hour, maybe. Just before getting into our deep sleep pods, the Earth was stunning. Hanging there, alone, in the void of stars. Oh, I felt like I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. But also, I didn't want to. So, um, why do you think these robots are hunting you? I wish I knew. My ship's robots certainly didn't care about me at all. It didn't even check on me, and I know it saw me. <laughs> well, tell me about Emerson. He used to work with me at the USSA. Seems like he started working elsewhere after I went to space sometime. I never expected to see him here, but... Uh, I never expected to be in Appalachia, either. It makes me wonder about why my ship crashed here, you know? I know it had emergency landing protocols to take it somewhere near certain USSA sites, but... I don't know. I never thought I needed to know. Hmm. So, um, you read comics back uh, before all this, right? Yeah, of course! <laughs> the Unstoppables, Silver Shroud, all of that. Mistress of Mystery was my favorite, of course. I was hoping that the new television show for the Mistress of Mystery would be out when I returned. But, I guess not. Well, that's too bad. Oh, she gave us an Unstoppables, apparently, I guess. Roger. Stay safe out there. Hmm, because yeah, it said that a comic was added to our inventory. Okay. So now, we're supposed to go investigate a cruise signal. But first, I'm going to put my magazine here. Unstoppables 1. This is my third copy of Unstoppables 1. <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick uh, transfer here. Uh, almost maxed out. I'm going to have to take some time to manage that here soon. So this new quest, Investigate the Crew's Signal. Um, this is where? Ooh, ooh, whoa, way down in freaking Welch. Wow. That is pretty far away. Goodness. Yeah, that's pretty far. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, I'll decide what I want to do. Do I want to go to Welch? Uh, do I instead want to, um, to go back to the main quest here and um, go up to the Raiders? And talk to them. They're up at Crater. So if I turn this quest on, we'll see that um, they are... Oh, I have to go to Top of the World. Okay, so actually, you know what? We'll probably do that one next time because it's closer. We'll probably walk on up to Top of the World. We'll talk to Rose, find out about the Raiders, yada, yada, yada. We'll do all that stuff in the next episode. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh, she's sitting down. Oh, I love it. She's making herself comfortable. Sit with her. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't want to sit with me. Look at her looking at me like... Thanks for giving me a place to stay for a bit. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, well, have a seat. Come on, make yourself comfortable. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just... why? All right. Well, anyway, i just sit here with my frog. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the deal. Maybe leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.